So I've been involved in the development of Lemvatnib E7080 from the first in human trials performed uh, in our centre more than 10 years ago. And I've been involved in the development subsequently, most notably recently in hepatocella carcinoma. So the study is now being published, which is a first line therapy for unresectable hepatocella carcinoma, randomising against sorafenib. This has demonstrated that linvatinib uh, has a proven efficacy, non-inferiority in terms of overall survival compared to sorafenib, but with superior secondary endpoints of time to progression, objective response, progression-free survival and quality of life. So the significance for hepatocellular carcinoma patients is that based on that results of the pivotal study, that this is a potential first-line therapy option uh, that can be considered uh, ultimately following licensing and reimbursement. The challenge for us as investigators is to build on that data and to look at potential combination therapies to further enhance the outcome for patients. And most notable at this year's uh, ASCO is the combination of lenvatinib with the anti-PD-1 antibody pembrolizumab. We know that a proportion of patients uh, do not respond to immunotherapy and we now are aware that exploiting the tumour microenvironment by altering the uh, immune signature in the microenvironment may potentially um, increase the activity and sensitise to anti-PD-1 antibodies and therefore this is a potentially interesting avenue for further research. Currently the evidence from the original uh, clinical trial uh, comparing sorafenib versus uh, lenvatinib is in patients with unresectable hepatocellular carcinoma, not suitable for radical surgical options with or without transplantation and not suitable for local regional therapies or failed and progressed after those previous local regional therapies. So the potential is very much based on that first line pivotal study and the potential for future development is in combination with other agents such as pembrolizumab, certainly for hepatocellular carcinoma and that may be a combination that could be explored in other tumour types where lenvatinib has already demonstrated some activity such as renal cancer and thyroid cancer.